Laura Westley spends her time guiding people safely to land, but she's always had her head in the clouds. As long as I can remember, I've wanted to fly. It's just always been magical, something different. I just remember being totally amazed by these things that stayed up in the sky and didn't come back down again. When it came to choosing a career, there was only one direction for Laura. That's up. It was just a dream come true. It was just a fulfillment of 15 years of real dedication to, to get it done. I think I actually sold my flat to pay for my commercial flying license. And uh, that was just, I really just felt that was a calling there. That was it, that was the bug was there. I was just never, it was never gonna go. Once qualified, Laura didn't become a commercial pilot. She began work with the charity Mission Aviation Fellowship. Its motto is flying for life. We fly into the most remote, inaccessible parts of the world and we take in whatever needs taking in, take out whatever needs taking out. It could be evangelists, it could be day-old chicks, it could be Bibles, it could be medical personnel. And we work in some of the most remote and inhospitable parts of the world. It's just an organisation that reaches the unreachable. It was founded by Christians and we have a very strong Christian ethos behind it. We believe that we can share God's love in a practical way. We get to express our faith and not evangelical terms and we don't preach anything but we just show God's love through the things that we the people that we take um, when I fly I realized every bum on a seat behind me is an answer to someone's prayer on the ground I remember one time we went to the refugee camp and the lady came over and her, her child was really really ill with malaria and I'm, I'm not a doctor I don't carry anti-malarials or anything to cure malaria with and uh, all we could do for her was pray. And I uh, have to confess, I felt really impotent in a way. Uh, we, as Christians, we believe that we can pray to God and he'll answer our prayers. And, but in reality, we often take our kids to the doctor as soon as they get a temperature. Whereas this woman, her faith was all she had. And that really struck me. You know, these, these people live their faith day in, day out. And uh, that, that's really incredible to, to witness. Well, in a moment, we'll discover how Laura's experiences in Africa had more of an impact on her life than she ever expected. Life's not always as it seems A different route from A to B As the plans you may come tumbling down When you're questioning the why And it's hard see the light and you're praying for the wind to change and though the pain is strong and it's hard to carry on I know that this is true my God cares for you all hope has disappeared and you're running out of tears I can tell you he Hold on, He will come. The Lord our God will comfort 
you give you strength enough to see you through the storm and though the pain is strong and it's hard to carry on i know that this is true my god cares for you all hope has disappeared and you're running out Tell you he is near, but my God cares for you. Oh, yes, he cares for you. Laura isn't the only pilot in the family. Her husband Mike also flies. We joined MAF as a couple. Uh, we were known as a bog-off couple, a buy one get one free. We spent the first 12 months um, in Uganda both flying, which was pretty awesome. If there's one thing that stands out for me about working with MAF, it's the two wonderful kids that Mike and I have been blessed with. We'd never thought about adopting before. We made a decision that I wasn't going to have, we weren't going to have our own children and because uh, of the work that we were doing. It was just, well, God's hand, I guess. Mike was flying in Tanzania and uh, I was at church in Kampala and the pastor asked me if I would take the youth group down to San Your Baby's home. There were around 40 children and uh, the lady spoke to me and said, would you consider adopting? And I said, no. And she said, oh, you go pray about it. And I spoke with Mike when he came back from Tanzania and we just knew it was right. We just knew that that, that was what God had for us. And we went back to Sanyu and uh, we didn't feel we could choose a child. We just um, asked the lady who's in charge of devout Christian lady called Mama Joyce. And we said, you know the kids, um, you've loved them, you've cared for them since they came and uh, you know what they need. And so we just pray with you and just trust God to find you know, the right match. It's been a journey. Um, it's been an adventure. Um, they're amazing. It's just opened my eyes to parenthood in a totally different perspective. I suppose being a parent does that, I guess. Sometimes you crack open something that looks like a rock and open up the rock and there's this crystal inside and there was these two little crystals that were just there and uh, I don't know, it was just this feeling of overwhelming love for them. It was just an incredible feeling to know that uh, God was going to give us these two beautiful kids. Father's love for